surprises there. Two smokes to be thrown out. In fact, this might be the same strat we've seen from them before. You do get your typical stairs smoke. It's not often you see the in-game leader, right, constantly getting dropped the pistol here. So we've seen this a couple days in a row now, Snappy into the Tech 9. He is very handy on that weapon, so I can understand why here. And that util over towards A has landed. The wall smoke to stairs and jungle. Now there is a bit of gap on the stairs if they want to peer on through. Yeah, big hit, some great shots punishing this exact gap. And that's what Hampers was pre-aiming the bombs already. Down chat. Okay, mission accomplished. Step one. Big green tick. It's Set two. Yeah, is Deef defending this retake? It's a 3 2 split their resources. Two from Con, three from that CT position. No flashes, it's just gonna be bullets. Deeha was concerned and he strikes. Man, that's quick. Three down on the CT prong and it could be spotless. On the reload, Rez accepts his fate and Dodo pockets 1500. Almost a full two sets of utility. They just threw out a couple already. They're sailing through the sky. You can see there on your mini map, they will be indicated. And some CT util dropped as well. You're framing it in a positive light. Now, the negative here is if they lose this force by, all of that is going to get scooped on up by all right, I know NIP. whether your glass is half full or half empty. Uh, you've, you've made that clear. Well, it's just, like I said, the pistols, yeah, they've been fine. But converting for Ents, that has been a whole different story here. So let's see. You can see the util from Snappy coming out again. Now, they have seen him selling this as a fake on his loans in other matches. Maybe they're going to fall for that. LNZ oh. in the molly. Oh. Didn't extinguish. Oh, full extinguish. No, and he will be wall banged for his trouble. So, good start. No damage out of the device scout other than the first bullet. He's gone. Plopsky knows it's a low player, and he's actually managed to isolate onto Hades. He's only getting 80 damage. Not Come another on, one. Come on, that could cost him. He's just delivered a rifle, and Hampus is hitting shots. It's falling apart. D has gone two and... Well, you give it a force by back, and you see if you can continue to keep the force by wars going here, but... You're excited by the rifles events previously. You're going to get excited by the rifles of NIP now because the AKs are met with M4s. The opening kills to get them through the door. And there you go, Dodo. That's what we're talking about. This one's got a bit more biff about it, doesn't it? Does. It does. I mean, if Plopsky goes tucked in tight, it's such a realistic duel for D. He's waiting for it. And his crosshair looked bang on the money, but just clips the wings of Plopsky. He will flap away, digging into the B site. Flappy bird. There's a crazy story about that one. It was too addictive and the guy took it off the app store. Was it because it was addictive or he just kind of like hated it and hated that everyone, oh, maybe, yeah, I think that was it. He just didn't like that everyone was obsessing over it. Yeah. It's one way to deal with problems, I suppose. Just remove the choice. Well, dodgy dealing APKs on USB sticks. We are going B and the bomb, not too far away, but two players from NIP reside. Rez will take first contact here. Oh. Rez should have taken first contact here. He's had a look away. It all comes down to the timing. He's spotted something now. There's still legs to this. And yeah, Hades confirms that they could potentially get that bomb down. And that especially with a nice. recovered rifle. The incendiary towards the default plant. He tries to wait for the sound cube. But it's going to be too late then. Way too late. Doesn't even spread in time. He's not taking a tick of the flame. That could have been useful elsewhere. This is going to get hard now on the retake. It certainly is. Even some counter utility from Dota. But he'd rather try and take some space. He's got a good idea as to where they're coming from. Oh, this is ballsy. Doto looking to make good on his oopsie from the previous round. And two backs turned. What a flank. What a play. And it's just Hades and Doto with all five. Huge stuff. Oh, Snappy's wondered, yelling back. I wondered why Hades was laughing so much, but I, we didn't initially catch that. Snappy just unloading. He wants to have some fun with this. I think all yeah, of them, I mean, all of the players, right? You are a competitive soul. That's why you're successfully a professional Counter-Strike player. And yeah, there's pride and there's a lot of fun to be had. I think, you know, most of these players probably find the most fun in CS is when there is a lot at stake, sure. But at this point, it is much more for that uh, trophy by your name, as Chad um, included and suggested. I think that's a good one as well. Don't forget. We'll block the smoke there. Is there a gap? There's might no be, Might be just on the right-hand side because you can see there it normally bounces more central. Oh. Hampus is Deagle. It's working too. Yeah, there he's there is. slouch, you know, he's there a gap. Wow, so unintentional or not, he does actually block that. And a lurky boy won up the connector as well. That'll keep you guessing. Missed the jump into uh, do you know the window. Do you know what else it would have done is keep you looking away from window, but doesn't get him through. Three into B. It's gonna be hard to defend now. Very difficult to overcome this. Rez is, oh, lost the teammate there, and Rez is Deagle. He's good for a first. Scout Deagle, not a bad package for Rez to continue to be a nuisance here. 
They might just have to push this, right? Doto isn't here right now, so it can be a 2-1-2 two -on, -two on the side. Damage is done. That could have been awkward, and they still could. These deagles, a problem for the majority of events. Oh no, and Sphinx is gone. Doto forced into a very uncomfortable 1v1, and that lurky smoke, you have to plant, bro. He's got the moves, doesn't opt for go immediately. He's actually going in pursuit of the AK. Now that will make this clutch easier. Doto, will he actively push for the information as to Rez's relocation? There's no kit here. He's gone into the kitchen, so he's going to have a good idea as to where they're coming from. And it's a short plant. So maybe bench, Rez thinks and clears his close corners. Van, kitchen, and apps, all a possibility with the missed away. Game, and there he goes. Peas and well, out come Ents. See if they can continue the pain train now. For them on overpass, it wasn't necessarily the worst of showings. It just was NIP ready for a lot of the heads up counter strike. Yanko brought up the conversation about Device being in this team and Mirage being one of the maps that they do like to go to. And Device not playing that for a very long time in Australia. So if he can get activated here and start really feeling himself on a map like Mirage, that is perfect. We sold out in the default spread. The Mid-control smokes of Window and Connector are down again, and they're regathering towards the B bomb site. But NIP have been doing their homework by the looks of things. They've actually stacked everybody over towards this side of the map. Rez, Plopsky, Device, they've just been greeted with Hampus and LNZ, who's hanging around in market. Now, if I know Snappy, and if I know Saw, he's probably got this finger on the potential for a gamble here. And so that MAC-10 can act as a lovely little probe. Need to be careful on Deha, though, right? He has the bomb. Touche, and he is kind of... Got his hand in the back pocket of Snappy right now, so cool your jets. A's being cleared. Yeah, and the bomb's starting to navigate back, and it's just a silence bullet. And the, oh, just the tip up yeah, there. Away, guys. Head. Yeah, Snappy confirms their suspicions. Get your booties to the first letter of the alphabet. Oh, Leave him alone. Doto puts one right into the back of the skull of Hades, so <laughs> it's not the most gorgeous couple of rounds at events. It's definitely been a stressful one for them, but even these USPs are threatening. Look at their health getting whittled away at. They're going to give this a go, or at least they should, right? They can take and do some damage here. Hades is already mopping that up. Sphinx looks to do the same from the palace position. Just tapping away. Oh, Sphinx actually aggressing and looks to have tamed his spray nicely. Just the res P250. D had... Linus is into an org. We'll see how he decides to wield that one as the window smoke has missed here. So there will be a gap and Sphinx, well, ready for that. Uh, device is dead. That happened very quick. Yeah, what a way to seize an advantage. We're barely at the one minute 40 mark and he won't expect this. He won't expect this. Taking that smoke for granted. Hampus punished. Doto trades. Running out of ninjas quickly. Plopsky elsewhere has dealt with Doto, but down goes Rez. The plant is open for business. Plopsky in an uncomfortable situation. He's got a full, lovely set, not only of Util, but the AK-47, the kit. He's got the dream package. And they are low. Throws out a nade, trying to juke them out with the trajectory alone, as he does look to save. Potential. It'll hunt on the cards. Snappy was flirting with the idea. Yeah, probably not going to find him here. Up in the roost of the kitchen over towards the B apartment's position. So wanting to hold on to their guns, Ents. Now, uh, lost bonus for NIP, 2,900 here. They can go for... Uh, Teams, yeah. a bit Na'Vi. I don't know how good they are at it. I think Na'Vi are pretty decent on it. Bang. Open up. Found. And I can't believe Doto's got away with that. 4 HP. Coming on in, knocking on this A door, and now Devices get some more. Sphinx does have to once again save Ents, and he's set up for success. That, again, got etch a sketch. Well, Hampus uh, probably wondering how it went so wrong so quickly there. Device overstepping the mark on the top of the stairs was the first to crumble and all of that. Now the bomb loose towards top mid. The highest HP is Hades, who well, right now... He's rotating back to pick that up exactly. So there is a chance for Hampus here if he can find a bit of a timing. They have absolutely no idea where he is. He's looking the wrong way right now, but he's between them. Ah, and there it is. Sphinx 4. Sphinx ready than that. And, uh, oh, here we go. The device AWP is out. Rifles for everybody. No Famous this time round. Both teams looking with very comparable buys. That window smoke again. And they're ready for NIP if they wanted to aggress here. Some passive stance taken from Hades. They're not searching him out 
early to find an opening kill. We'll keep our eyes on this util again because Snappy's been able to sell a fake. Now, the reason it's more important now than it would have been early is because they've already done an A take with this same utility. So now when Snappy throws it out, they're going to be a little bit more skittish that it might be that A player. It's all going to be a ruse. We can see right now Ents have four players up in the B apartments. And yeah, we've seen Snappy pull this one out before. He'll be able to throw out two smokes from the same position. He's got a lovely lineup for jungle and he can throw out the second towards Connector. It's going to be that wall of smokes. Rez won't have info, but LNZ and Device will have full confirmation to keep your feet planted. And Klopski, that's a little late on the incendiary. The flashes are connecting, but so is Hampus despite the lost vision. CTs do fill the feed issues now. The incendiary may have been late for the initial, but now it has kept them housed. Rez taking space. He's been spotted hey, out. Yeah, Sinks. Sinks? Let me try again. It was Sphinx. Let's dealt with him. Yeah, just baited out by those footsteps right there. So Hades unknowingly tricks Rez in this situation. And what was feeling like a great round can still fall apart. Sphinx could get rid of device here. He's in the blind spot. Oh, pulls away in time. Fires off that shot. If he does brave re-peak here, Hades might have a chance on him on this release of his crouch. Device too good. He could have some more here and tries to snap into that short player not far off. Just gonna save. Just gonna try and hold on to what they have. One of the things that was really positive for NIP there, first of all, they didn't bite on the fake, but second of all, they had a lot of utility left here, right? They do have a bit of a buffer to work with now. They are gonna get the loss bonus of 1900 in the next, so a buy in the next round wouldn't be outside of the realms of possibilities. And we're not seeing anything too crazy pacey from Ents immediately. They just wait for the initial move, and now they come with the second wave. Oh, and that's aggressive, Rez. Flashed in by device, one for good measure on the retreat and an early first blood for the Swedish roster closing this gap. Now, let's see if they can string two together. Very deep there, very, very deep. Probably too deep. I think like, Dodo can take a fight. Play. Yeah, there is a very, very comfortable fight. He doesn't get full gray screened on that. So punish there, but just a little bit of a flubbed smoke. Dodo's got the rotation here and they are. Oh, they didn't break the vent. That will even be information in itself as to the setup they have adopted. Well, they want to continue forward here. Device has a decent idea. Still two on this site. He's got the moves. That's great from Dota. Hampus has looked away. Hot pursuit of this Hampus frag, but Hampus takes one with him just prior to the grave. Plopski is caught. And that bomb should be uncontestable. Device of crazy wall bangs, the only thing separating him from a contest. All he's got to do his best. Partners up with LNZ. Some utility on him. Oh, and Hades falls foul to that jiggle. Oh, does won the clutches so far. Yeah, he got another in him. Oh, he's looking ready to rock and roll. Loves this position, doesn't he? Oh, and a nice elevated position. Smooth movement to get him into this position now. Lion is going to put his head in the vise on the feet. Oh, Dodo, brilliant, but not quite enough. Enough time on it. LNZ pulls it across the line for NIP with two in a row. He's AWP again, so he gets to try his luck one more time. And they've actually well, went to set up the boost over towards the A ramp here. Nobody going to be caught on that cross as I was just praising the movement this time around. A little bit flubbed, but it's not going to be the end of the world. That wasn't the only thing they were bringing into this one. As I mentioned, if they got the plant, the buy would be good. Dihar is the only one who's had to take a sacrifice here. He'll have the Deagle and a late window smoke now coming on out. That is going to be blocked on off. A reposition necessary from Hampus unless he wants to watch the light. And, well, an underhand HG here, well timed. Wallop. He does dodge. If he continued into that, he would have been half HP here about now. And this is more harassment out of Hampus. Split this underpass push and slows down the mid default. Understandably concerned about B. They don't have any apps info, they just know there's something in mid. They're more than happy to play a bit light on mid here. So you can see that Rez is close towards connector and they want to put the forces with a crossfire from short and connector passive on the window position if they do come on through. So allowing Ents to make the first move. Yeah, and this is an unpredictable angle. So as long as they don't expose themselves to, say, Lopsky and uh, Rez is on the stairs, ready for that palace swing. Nearly, nearly gets it. Look at the aggressive orbing out of Hades. He could get two. The close quarters open. Converts and opens up the site for business. Hampus to destabilize. Oh, and Hades building for the into ace. an ace. He did start this round. Now he has the means to close it. D for Hades and Dota, the two we just mentioned. 
But NIP, it's seeming likely they'll lose the half here. Enter doing a good job of dealing with this. Occasionally it does get scra scrappy, but they are coming out on top of a lot of these scenarios here in Snappy. He's thrust on forward early. That's only with the USP. He is playing with the gap here and would hope somebody walks in while it's up. It could work in his favor, but now that it's faded, he can't hang around. Snappy's already vacuuming up all of this space. Did land a bullet to the dome. Fortunately, Snappy came prepared with his hard hat. And Plopsky builds off what his teammates started. So there is just a single player about to be isolated by the entire end squad. Good luck, have fun, Hampus. Molotov forces his smoke and an indicator as to where he's hiding. He's screwed. Yeah, absolutely cream crack it there. You can see how quick they were to react as soon as they noted where Plopsky was. Normally one of those B-holders, right? So he gets the kill from the shadow position and they immediately get their running shoes on and head over towards that B-side. Now it's about what we can pick up on the way out the door for the Swedes. They can still inflict some financial damage here. Ents, they are in the lead, but their finance is not looking fantastic. Neither is Linus right now. That's uh, he, huh? very, very diligent, right? The fact that he was so far ahead of that. This is how wary they've become, right? Of every single corner, every single peak. Not letting them get away with any of this. And it will just be device over towards tap in mid. Deagle for him. And, well, we'll call this one the half one. Eight now for Ents. But it is a map that I think we'll still see a lot of once we do get to that major. But here we go, we're straight into A. This is a pace change. Asked from Snappy's call, and he does actually lead by example only. LNZ being pressured, manages to claw a second out of that high pressure scenario. The back turn of Snappy, this is by no means a guarantee. Look how many smokes are up right now. Looking for info, understandably so. Don't have to rush this. Oh, and you can confirm that there is a close presence. That will definitely have them disinterested in, in getting that bomb down. They're actually looking to try and relocate to B. This is a big move right now. Yeah, but that lurky smoke means that Plopsky will be quite hot on their heels. He's already trying to clear the site. Ah, they're going to get away with this, I think. Uh, Hampus no would info. have to start peering right now. So the fact is, this is all a bit of a ruse, and they will make it towards the site. Dota, with that movement again that I highlighted, has been able to get himself through the path of least resistance, up and over, through short. The bomb will go down. Hades with the rotation, and he's playing forward. Oh, that should be it. That will be it. Plopsky could fancy his chances. At least confirmed that Hades isn't sticking around, but shouldn't be a way in. This is looking great. Ents not only winning the half, but extending that lead to nine. Well, they were stompy yesterday, right? The performances they put down were just absolute destruction. Popsky, if he can uh, get this AWP, save that one, at least they'll have that to give to Device in the next round of play. But it is getting dire now. Once again, it is the CT side of Mirage, and Ents have shown that they picked this for a reason. I just love the mid-round maneuvers. If you take a look at the, the closeness of these rounds, it's not one of these games where we're like, oh, they're not getting any kills, right? This is one where the rounds have been close. Uh, a lot of situations where maybe two or three players last the line for Ents in this, and they've had to play out the mid-round scenarios. And they're keeping up. What's the changeup going to be? They've already taken a timeout to discuss their options, and they're not getting anything for this device aggression. Minus two. Well, that aggression could be this unknown factor. Put a wrench in the works. Oops. They're aware of the close hold, though, right? What Snappy's showing right there with that Molotov is that they know that they're up close and personal right now. So he does flub it. It wouldn't have changed a whole lot anyway. And now he's selling this A-fake again. So the U2 coming over, hoping for a reaction. Rez is close towards Palace. LNZ close towards that ramp. Could be a double fake, Chad. With the bomb Palace, like, uh, maybe they want to have d now to come knock it at B and get, like, a real knee-jerk reaction out of Ninjas. Lopsky needs to get this kill. If he goes down, that might force that. If rotate, there it is, quick trade. But now they strike immediately. On Linus is still there. This is an absolute mad one. NIP with the bomb spotted and the frags provided. Needs a reload, does get the opportunity due to the missed orb shot. Hades' flank is everything here. Absolutely everything. I think he's been spotted out. Device is not going to let this go. Okay, doesn't even get to pull the trigger. First half will look like. Yeah, they're heading just towards A here, so no funny business with the fake. It's just all five members right now from Ents lining up their U2 here. Hades, a forward force with that AWP. 
ready in case they pick into his line of sight. And that util being dropped again here for Snappy to be able to work with. So here come the flashes. It might be a different one without the smokes coming on through. Device can dress this. And he, oh, he's got such a cool head on his shoulders. He calmly tracks the strafing. Doto does put his name in the feed first. And more to come. Aggressive stance. Lucky to have gotten away with that. Hades tucked into Tetris. But how do they get out of this one? Util dropped. Counter util play out. Have to play in front of this. Trying to. Actively trying to. And in the flames, Snappy does stray foul oh. into Device. And suddenly, Deher and Sphinx have won their duels. And then some. Only Hampus. And he's just connected the first of the three. They're low. Smoke. Something to play around. He'd love to isolate the random no scope. Not far off the money. And they are going to get this bomb down despite a knowledge of his presence. The smoke breeding. Some doubt Deha strikes. LNZ, and yeah, things just aren't going their way. Ents are showing up in a big way in map number two. I think dropping your nades as well. Like, what better example of how that can change the way you see both Deha and Spinks nadeless, just counting on Snappy to set them up for the frags, and the frags came beautifully. Deha with four. Last round of our half, second map of our grand final. Standard split of the CTs and a standard spread as well. Does look like A does seem to be the target. Uh, it feels to me like what they're doing is they're allowing Hades to look on out here because they've still gone for the default spread, as you mentioned, just in case of any pushes. And Hades is the driving force of looking for a more active pick. And more active is Snappy right now. He's cleared out close. Ooh, didn't spot anything. I can spot it on the next jump here. Oh, they won't jump now that Molly's been thrown. The Extinguish to sell that it is a site hold, and Hampus will have to peek. He has to acknowledge this, and he has. So now that he's taking back the info, A, they know it's coming. And just careful on your jumps. He's got the info and confirmed Hades' position. They love this smoke. Very effective. Stops that immediate loss of the site. Buying 20 seconds. Here comes a boost. So they're looking to strike from jungle. Currently held. Head on a swivel. Rez was there. Looking the wrong way now. Sounds good. And yeah, back turned. Doto looking to give Ents an 11th. And that's the first blood. That's the plant device locked out from the site. We do have a ramp presence in Hampus. Maybe he can destabilize. Good that's late. if he's lost his whole team, though. Thrust into a 1v5. What can you do? On the pistols here. Let's see if they can continue that streak. Okay, big fight in the top of mid. And Snappy already the first victim. There's more to be found. Hades at least keeps it a competitive round. And an armored one for Device. So his P250 has already drawn blood. And he's going to be the VIP to protect. Plopsky's made it work long range on the Glock. Everyone's here. Yeah, this could be a quick pistol. We may not see any bomb plant. May not be necessary. A man advantage already for the ninjas. They all just want to fight together here. So hoping NIP put themselves in the open. Oh, lovely. How is this the strat? Take long-range fights against USPs as a team. I think this just sticks with what Ents have been doing, right? They just want to take the jewels. Fortunately for them, this time they're not going their way. Doto. The shots land, but not lethal. Device finishes that. And yeah, this is continuing with the heads-up type of counter -trick. Now, it didn't work fantastically for Ents over there on Overpass. Yanko was talking about it on the desk. NIP would have an opening move, and then they'd wait for the reaction of Ents, and then every single time they... Well, not every single time, but more often than not is probably a better way to phrase that. We're able to punish those moves and make it very difficult for them to maneuver across the map here. This time around, the opening not going their way, and it continued to spiral down from there. But here we go, the Deagles. They have looked spicy. Four of which Hades into in both of the overpass and or maybe overpass second. Okay, that's a lovely start. So NIP do look like they'll be winning this one out and converting it comfortably. This was what Ents were kind of under the pump of on their uh, second half of overpass, right? They sustained so much damage, but they stayed calm and they were able to convert into the site with the kills, not by getting the bomb down. So they were chipped away at, they were put low, and they were made to squirm. They stuck to their guns, and they were able to just find the necessary kills here. Now, Snappy's going to be smoked on off. That's a bunch of information to work with, and it's going to force Spinks into a position where he respects that, dropping all the way through the market position. Deha gravitating towards mid as well. So, Spinks has second-guessed that. They're actually gambling on this B-bomb. So, if Spinks hits another shot like that, there's three low-HP players right now, and NIP, they could start to crumble here. Spinks has to worry about more, but Deha, he's here to help as well. Okay, that's lovely in the feed. It's getting high pressure as well. Uh, Linus has pulled them back into an advantage, but for how long? 
He's going to be very busy planting that bomb. Hampers is not in a prime position to clear. Linus might have to have a look. And just as Deha does avert his gaze, Linus hasn't jiggled. Pips the gap. They spot him out. Deha needs some bangers here. And Hamper saves them. Okay, well, it did get scared. Now, that's impact frags from him and around like that. So huge stuff from the youngster again. Device, when I got to speak to him, was talking about the work ethic of LNC. And it's good to hear high praise from somebody like Device. I'd love if uh, anybody of that stature ever had said anything that nice about me. Well, that was like when NIP made the announcement that they're, you know, introducing Device into the roster. Like, Nork just had to say, oh, okay. Yeah, you, you can't know, argue with it, right? There's no argument there. There's, there's only there's... a few players, if you got replaced by them, like I think Device, Zywoo, and Simple, yeah. if those get you, you go, oh, okay. Like, yeah, fair it's enough. More, it's more a question of, you got Device? Yeah. You know, as opposed to, I'm leaving the team? <laughs> So yeah, one of the very unique circumstances in that respect. Now, this is quite slow from NIP, and again, they're doing a good job holding on to that utility. Restraint being shown, but being dacked in the back lines right there was Deha. Dotos made this interesting, and Spinks again. They're surrounded right here, NIP. Yeah, I don't know. Bailing himself out of trouble initially. The bomb down. Dota does have a gap. Oh. He just crushed it. A little premature. Didn't know Flopsky was going to be standing still to throw his nades. Now falling apart despite the threatening. He's down the ladder. Flopsky. <laughs> saved by the device. All right. Well, they salvaged that. It's sketchy again in patches. And Hades hitting Flopsky with 4.4. So keep that in mind as we go into the first gun round here. Window will extinguish. Looks like they want to get the boost going, but actually underpass, jumping straight on down. Deha trying to hide in plain sight here. He's going to be quick on the B flank. Uh, they have to account for this. Device has to be ready for Deha fast. Nade could do some serious damage, but yeah, Deha can be responsive. Oh, he worked away. He's gone through connector here, so they won't be able to help with the flank fast. Up to Sphinx then. We saw the smoke molly defense on B site work well for the ninjas and. No exception in the equipment. Nice find from Snappy. Holds his line. Sphinx contributes in a big way. Only one remains. And Hampus, it's highly likely you're hanging out with that bomb. I think they confirm it now with the spot. 12th is secured. Yeah. It's just weird. Like, not too many teams have Mirage as their permaban, right? Yeah. The best team in the world forever had it as their permaban. So, well, that's curious. And Hades has kicked things off in style. A kill and he's gone. Yeah, no better start to your oh. attempt for two consecutive rounds. And Deha, what a prime target to eliminate. Speak of the devil, he's gone. Device down. And, well, <laughs> it does hinge on where that bomb does manoeuvre. Rez has picked up this orb to try and ply his trade. Yeah, at least everybody now for NIV has a gun in their hands. So, two players shy, but they're all equipped now. They just short of the mark. Chip damage at best onto Rez. And... Well, we know that Ents like to go for these mid-round maneuvers, but they may have learnt from Overpass that that's not the play, right? As soon as they get these openings, if they batten down the hatches, if they play tight Counter-Strike and allow the numbers to work in their favor, NIP might just milk time off the clock here, waiting for the push. Now, three of them all through the mid-corridor. Hades has been pre-aimed here, and yeah, Rez, good read. Dota will be solo on A, but it's the wrong call from the ninjas. They're actually heading at this point too short to Sphinx, and he just lingers on that doorway for another impactful round. Back-to-back -back doubles on the defense. Sphinx loving that AK as well. Good shooting from him. Rez on this flank, however, right? There is 30 seconds, but he's threaded the needle that is the gap. Oh, no, Sphinx is, is looking. Sphinx is looking. So hard, and yeah, that's a shot and a half out of Rez. He'd Somehow need to find the bench player before or after the bomb retrieval. Oh, bomb's mollied. Yeah, it is, and Snappy will strike. Okay, Ents up to 13, and that was what we were talking about in terms of... Here, but now, Ents, they found themselves in the driver's seat of this one. They're by, it's not fantastic. They could have dropped across some rifles as well, but they have opted to go for two MP9s. So a clear understanding from them that the buy on the other side is quite tasty. And there you go, an MP9, perfect weapon for the job in this scenario. No armor. Bomb down, Snappy calling for aid. I don't know if he's getting out of this one. Never mind, he fights his way out. And not a single body dropped. Happy to stick on the USP for the final finishing touches. The weapons, one into Palace of Deha. So there you go, there's one aggressive play. And Snappy could do the exact same thing over towards B. That's both extremities that could be swarmed on and on by MP9s, but a conservative approach. And you can play that position well with an MP9 for Snappy. It's a good weapon for the job. 
an acceptable weapon for the job. You'd prefer a rifle. You would always prefer a rifle here, but... Should be no dramas as you see a connector smoke lobbed on out there. Gonna buy a bit more time on the mid crawl. Yeah, I mean, this, you can seal it up. Call it good to go. Should you convert your bonus here without too many casualties, there'll just be so many opportunities for Rents to throw the knockout blow. Last chance saloon for NIP here on our second. And Deha, that's an audacious angle, but he's managed to inflict some heavy damage, and down goes Linus. An AK upgrade. A flash for good measure. Doto has a, a large support framework here established for him. They can flash the stairs. Whether or not they actually want to do anything with that remains to be seen. And this is the aggression we were talking about from Ents. When it works, it works wonderfully. Because you'll see, as soon as Snappy confirms that mid isn't as scary as it could be, you will start to see the float of Sphinx. Look how much faith Doto has here that there is a warning system for him. Oh, peaks up easy. Oh, and really doing heavy damage to everyone. He's got Deha in tow. Oh, they work in perfect unison for fifth. Something that you need to stand up and recognize. And just the team bond, you know, building not only through the victories, but just doing it every day. You've had two weeks in that land light environment. It's going to be a quick finish here. NIP setting up for the BX cube pistols and util. That's the best they have to boast. Here they come. Good reaction out of Snappy. He'll buy time for the hunt. And oh, back turned on Popsky. So, so far, so good. Armored pistols, the all in maneuver in pursuit of glory. Nothing for the ninjas. Ents wrapping this one up, putting a bow on it and popping it under the tree. Equalized. One.